everybody. It's Wednesday, hump day. Hope everybody's having a great week, making it through okay. Um, we are getting ready to eat dinner, so um, comment below what you guys are having. We are having um, garlic bread and lasagna, which I was brilliant and didn't realize that the um, that when I read the directions, it was talking about the microwave and not the oven. So I put it in the oven and then I'm like, yeah, that's not done in the time it says. So now we're waiting on that to finish. Anyway, um, I wanted to come live and talk to you guys about um, like how you've met people that are important in your life and who you met them through. Um, did you meet them? Um, from somebody like a friend of a friend did you just meet this person out and about and now they're super important in your life like how how did that happen so here's a perfect example um, I have had back problems for probably eight years since I had a car accident I was the last one hit in an eight car pileup and my car had no damage but when I got out of the car my back and my neck were killing me so um, I've seen four different chiropractors for this and I have like a lot of pain, like a lot of pain. Like it's really painful for me to even like turn my head when I'm driving. It's always on my right side. I've seen chiropractors for like four years um, and it gets better for a little bit and then it always hurts again. So this is my point of that. Um, I met a girl at a, bridal, at a bridal show, a hostess, who became a hostess of mine from the bridal show. Um, her friend did a party with me, and then that girl's friend did a party with me, and then that girl's sister did a party with me. Now, Brooke is the sister. Um, she did a party with me, and at one point she came by to pick up some of her stuff, and um, I was like, why are you over here? Because you don't live over here. And she's like, no, my chiropractor is the next street over from your house. And I was like, oh, I need their info. Like, please hook me up. Tell me about him. And she's like, oh, he's so good. He's a sports medicine chiropractor. Um, and I said, well, my current chiropractor does like a bunch of other nonsense. Like I go in to get my neck fixed and he's like, oh, you need to take probiotics and all this stuff. And I'm like, I, no, I don't want all that stuff. I want somebody who's going to focus on my neck and my back. So she's like, yeah, he's amazing. He's amazing. So I started going to him. I think about a month ago and he is he's amazing um, but he was the first first chiropractor out of four that I have seen hold on, hold on that out of the four that I have seen that told me to one go get x-rays done on my neck um, which showed like mild arthritis and then oh you're popping up <laughs> you're silly and then um, he was the first one ever in eight years to tell me that I really should go get an MRI done on my neck. And I was like, why has nobody told me this before? And he's like, well, I'm guessing your chronic pain is from, um, from that. And so from having that accident. So I do the MRI last Thursday. I get in to see him today. And it turns out, guys, I have three, three herniated discs in my neck, at the base of my neck. Um, one of them has part of the bone that has broken off. So I have a like floating fragment of bone in my, right next to my neck in my body. And it's like my stuff is pushing up against my spine and like giving me all kinds of issues. And so if I had not met Brooke from all of those people, from that whole train, right, that was PR, um, if I wouldn't have met her at that, at that party and become friends with her, you know, I would never have found out about this chiropractor who is actually going to help me get stuff fixed on my neck. So I have to go get a cortisone shot next week. Um, maybe this week if they can get me in, but I have to go get a cortisone shot where they said, hopefully that'll help with the pain and that'll help, um, ease some of the, um, inflammation and, help with all of that so um, it's it's just been horrible and it sucks like I'm in constant pain like people think I work out all the time because I'm thin I'm only thin because I have Crohn's because the majority of the time I don't eat great because I have Crohn's and so there's only certain things that I can eat and so I don't um, I can't work out I haven't been able to work out in like two years from the surgeries I had last year and 
stuff happening the year before. Like I haven't been to the gym in probably two years. And I was so excited I wanted to start Pure Bar this year and I couldn't go because my neck has been so jacked up. So it's just amazing to me, the people that come into your life, whether it's through friends or through family or from just meeting them out and about um, and how they have an impact on your life. So I'm so grateful that I met Brooke through all of those that whole chain um, so I can actually get some relief for my neck because it's just been getting worse in the past month. So, um, so if you have somebody that you have in your life that you're like, oh my God, this is like, this person's amazing. They've helped me so much. They either connected me with this person or they help me with this, then comment below. I don't know if you can tag people in a video, but you can always tag them so they can see that you gave them some credit and a shout out. Um, anyway, so if you're watching live, comment one. If you're watching on the replay, comment two. Tell me where you're watching from. Um, but tell me, I would love to know like all of these little things and how everybody got connected. It's so much fun. And I know for me, I have so many different people in my life that have come in in different ways that that were um, that have had a big impact you know and even like my whole team like if I wouldn't have met my team at parties like they wouldn't be part of our team and like I love them they are amazing they're some of, they are like some of my best friends so um, how do you know people it's so interesting how it all connects so okay um, we are making dinner I'm gonna try and get this lasagna done tell me what you're making what you're eating for dinner um, we're having garlic bread and lasagna, and it's going to take about an hour, and I'm starving, so I don't know if I'll wait that long. Um, but have a great Wednesday night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!